guys welcome back to my youtube channel um yeah today's as you can see by the title below that we're going to speak about my transitioning journey and why i decided to do transition um if you're new here please like the video and subscribe and if you want to share any like your story of your journey please comment down below yeah so i started transitioning um in 2018 i think it was july um yeah the i will insert a photo like anyway on the screen to show you how my hair looked before i started transitioning and yeah i, I had lots of straight ends but my roots were curly and that's why i transitioned because why i only my roots were curly and i didn't i don't like short hair i i have a fear of having short hair so that's why i decided to transition um also um i love I, i'm an athlete so i love it when i can go with the bun to training and just have some length when i'm running or so forth um so yeah i started transitioning for um july i transitioned for 17 months before i did the big chop and um i do not regret um transitioning because i really got to do a lot of research on how to handle my hair and this advice that i've learned i can share with other people that is transitioning and um yeah i transitioned because i didn't know anything about natural hair i just knew i knew there was two things you can big chop or transition big chop is me cutting all that straight ends off like no i wasn't ready for that and the transition was me what i did for 17 months and i've learned a lot of a lot of knowledge through that um youtube was key for me um going to hair events was key for me i think in south africa we really don't focus on people that's transitioning you must have really curly hair um before you get recognized um but i enjoyed the journey i wasn't i wasn't sad that i did transition because um i never followed anyone that said no, you have to big chop or things. I waited and for hours ready to big chop. And when I felt, okay, the time is now, I did it. And um, oh yeah, I transitioned with a friend of mine. We, transi we transitioned together, sorry. And we always say that if I big chop, she's going to big chop. And when she big chop, I would big chop. And we actually did it on the same day. She decided, okay, she wants to big chop because we had a hair event in December. Not in, yeah, in December, yeah, if I'm correct. Um, and she was so inspired by other people's hair. And she's like, no, Tamsin, I'm ready to, I'm ready to big chop. And I'm like, okay, I'll just come watch you. I'm just going to come watch how the lady big chop your hair, like cuts all her straight ends. And then, yeah, well, I was watching her. I'm like, no, okay, let me also do it because we did promise to do it on the same day. Um, and yeah, I went for it. I don't regret it um yeah after the big chop i i struggled to actually get a perfect hair routine because i did so much on transitioning hair that when it came to me having all natural hair i didn't know how to manage it and yeah i had to do again other research to find out what products do i use how do i go from just no straight ends to just natural hair and um that's when i i did I, I did watch a lot of youtube videos again to find out a perfect hair routine for me and yeah if you want me to share my hair routine i will do a video on that if you want if you want transitioning tips like i will give you lots of tips on that because i've been doing it for 17 months and it's not easy um and i'm just excited for this new journey i'm now four months natural and all i want is big hair still finding hairstyles i can do and yeah just just learning to love my hair and to give actually lots of people have been asking me on instagram like tamsin give me tips and i can share that journey with them easily because i went through it i can tell them okay don't don't be a product junkie like no that is not the way to go because products is not going to make your hair grow the only way products is going to make your hair grow is by getting the right products that can moisturize your hair and then 
also finding the right routine and just having patience at the same time because I think that is key. Um, we, we see someone else's photo and we just want to be there where they're at, not knowing they also went through a, a process of getting there. So I think we all experience our own process and we find ways to deal with it on our own. So find products that will work for your hair, not for someone else. Know what type of, know, know what type of hair you have local pattern there's there's lots of types and lots of people say they differ from each other and also just leave your hair your hair will grow and yeah thank you for watching guys if you liked the video um let me know down in the comment um comments below if you would like to see more videos um it's coming promise